Hey, what's going on everybody? Darth Gizmo here. Just kind of wanted to show off what I've been doing here. I am in the processes of taking this place down. As you can tell, a lot of stuff is missing. Got holes and stuff in the floors. My little chicken pen is empty. I got one chicken in there, but... Um, this thing got a ton of stone still in it, so that's why that thing's still there. I'm in the process of moving all that over. Um, this room I've already cleared out. I gotta get this room up here. Probably bring my apple trees over. You gotta get this part. I'll just tear this thing down since I got a new one over there. I'll show you that in a second. And then this thing here. I forgot this, this thing was still here. But... Alright, uh, yeah. But this is what I've been doing. I built this huge platform here. I wanted, wanted some homey area, I guess, like a, a place that would actually look like something, <laughs> so I built this little area here, come in there and relax, I'm just going to sleep real quick, you know, here are chickens just swimming in the pond. Go ahead and come up here. We got a little waterfall and stuff. It actually turned out pretty nice. I had too much uh, sugar cane, but that's just because I was farming it. Um, over here, I w I'm making a warehouse over here. I'm gonna move these two machines here. No, these three machines here are gonna be moved inside. And then my storage unit will be moved inside as well. This is our obsidian generator. This is our uh, leather generator. So basically, you take stuff, put it in there, and it'll put it inside of here and then dry it. But I don't think it does it to cook chicken. Then we've got my dirt generator. Just put organic stuff inside of here and I'll mulch it down into dirt. Um, yeah, that's about all I've been doing. I've been just trying to move stuff around, trying to get things done. Got an aluminum chicken. Got quite a few iron chickens and then uh, got a, is a bone chicken. Flint chicken and a bone chicken. Um, this is the warehouse I've been working on. So it's nowhere near complete. This is my clay generator. So you take dust and put it inside here. And then as the bins fill with water, the dust goes inside and turns the, the water turns the dust into clay. Over here is my mob farm. It's kind of a mess right now. I I need to find a better way to move items back. And also a better system to trash all the items that I don't want. So right now it's just a ginormous mess. And this thing's pulling out quite a bit of it, but as you can tell, there's still a lot of junk in there. Um, I haven't completed this all the way. Got the back place here to finish. Um, basically, inside the walls, all the floor has these things. And they push you. So they push the mob into the middle, which drops them down. And then I got my mob master down there, killing them. I do have some uh, witches water running in there right now so when skeletons 
Skeletons. Oop. That was the wrong block. When skeletons hit it, they turn into wither skeletons. So, and that's the witch water there. It's just running pretty much over everything. I mean, the mob masher still hits them since it's only one block above it. It's worked out pretty well for getting wither, wither skeleton, skeletons and stuff. Wither skulls, not skeletons. So you get like wither dust and uh, drops and stuff like that. Right now I have it kind of turned off because it is very active when you turn it on. See, here are all these lights here. <clears throat> At the end of each one, there's a light that goes down. So it lights up the room inside. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, I'll just pop in one of my corners here. So this is what it looks like on the inside. So basically. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See me getting pushed around already? I gotta keep myself towards the uh So like if they spawn here, it's just gonna whoop it's gonna push them into the middle and then they're gonna fall down into the water. It's actually a decent little setup, I like it. But uh, if I turn the lights off, hold on. I need to make a little switch for this. what I meant to do. Alright, see? They all just kind of right in. We got a lot of light going on around here. I don't know why. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Okay, okay. Somebody shot at me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why there's so much light over there. There's a lot of light over there. And this do. Oh, okay. What was about to say? I don't know where any of this artificial light is coming from because all my lights are turned off. Where did it all go? See, that's what I'm talking about. This thing, this thing really works. So when they're when it's spawning them, they're spawning a lot of them. That's why I keep the light on it right now. Let me get our endermen that do teleport out of the out of the danger zone. Whoop! That hurt. Whoa! Come on, bud. My little endermen slaying spot. Since it's two, only two high blocks, it, they won't, uh, aren't able to get inside here. Um, I think that's about it. That's all I've really been working on. My warehouse is going to mean the, the walls are made of aluminum. So I had my little farm here. I've got way too many growth crystals, I know. But my little farm here has been just outputting ton of aluminum essence. That's, I took away all the seeds because I say I don't know if I need this much. There is a ton of it, so see how that goes. See if that can actually add the second layer that I want on there. Kind of left this place open. I'm thinking of doing like a little almost like a shopping mall type or an outlet mall type thing so then we'll have like something being produced in this area here something being produced in this area my clay is being produced over there this is one hell of a mess of machines this is a uh, Basically, just auto sieving all 
all my dust in the sand. Gives me different materials. This is my new smeltery. Basically has this piece here, which is... This is automatically refilling the lava whenever it needs it. Um, now we got some ender pearls in there. I think I got some blood in there. Yeah, I got some blood in there because... Um, the blood is from... Different mobs falling in there. I didn't fall in this one. The diff other mobs fell inside and died. That's why I now I got torches on the top of it because it kept spawning up there. I didn't realize it. And then this is my tier 3 solar panel. Or tier 2. Uh, I think it's tier 3. And then this piece here, basically I can pull, if I have a loot bag, and I, let's get rid of some more of this stuff real quick, and I open it, I go, oh, I kind of really didn't want those, so I can take it and put it inside of here, well, I guess I can't put the saplings, but I put the boots in there, and It'll make more of these little white ones. Let me see here. What do I got? When I get a ton of material from my mob farm, I just throw it in here as well. So it makes loot bags, and the loot bags get pulled into this guy. Then for every four loot common loot bags, it builds one uncommon. And then for every four, it builds one. And then this gets sucked into here. For every four of these, it builds one of these guys. And so forth. Um, this is my... Oh, kind of an ink sack farm type thing. They just fall down and then they get stuck on the sides and die. I don't know, that ain't too great a method though, because I don't think they have a higher chance of dropping stuff unless you kill them. Or if, unless you're using something like the mob mixer. This here is how I got my witch water. Basically just took dirt, put it down, and then put the put ancient seeds on top of the dirt. Then you fill a barrel of water on top of the Milesium, and it'll turn it into witch water over time. I didn't realize that the uh, mushrooms grew around it, but it's not a big deal for me. I finally got some sheeps. I decided to put them over here just to make sure that they weren't going to get killed by wolves, because that was my problem last time over there, was wolves started spawning with the sheep. And just killing them all. Got a horsey here. This chicken, he is having some issues here, buddy. Here, let me help you out. I didn't think they really wanted to be in the water, but you never know. Let's see if he goes back to the water. You want to be in there? Nope, didn't think so. <laughs> He was just kind of sick. Alright. That is about all I have for today. I'll make another update video once I got some more stuff done. This here, this ramp, was a pain in the ass to build. It is built with these little tiny blocks here. Which is one pixel high. And then the full block across. I mean, it works very well. Don't get me wrong, I like it. But, it is a pain to build. I'm, I'm looking into a way that I can actually just copy and paste this around, because 
It is. It took me probably about 45 minutes just to build this little thing here. And considering I've got three more entrances on this side and a fourth on this side, plus the doors I like to ramp up to those two. Actually, the doors I think I'm gonna put stairs up to, not ramps. If they're handicapped, they can just use the ramp to the garage door. It'll be a way up regardless. And my little manual sifter, I just kind of placed it here for no reason. Inside of here, this is my tinkerer room. And a little enchantment type tables. Um, I should do all that. I should do that. This is my little hidey hole. So, while I was growing my crops, I was placing my character inside of here and falling asleep. <laughs> I know it's technically kind of cheating to leave your character in game ish. I mean, uh, the time was still spent in game, so whatever, I don't really care. It's not like this is multiplayer and I'm like cheating anybody out of anything. This is my own world, so I can do what I want. <laughs> all right guys well, thank you for watching you all have a wonderful day